Okay, this is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. I'm going to do a quick video on flashing a light on drive with Clutch's new iPrep 8.8. .8. First, you want to get it installed on your computer. Once you have that, you want to load your light on firmware. You want to go up. I am doing this on a Vi 421 card. My port's DD60, you want to keep that in mind. You want to go to COM1, if that's the COM port you're going to use, that's the one I'm using. You want to put your target drive in the field, which ours is G. Put a check in format, make bootable, include batch files. Click start, and it will build your USB flash device. Right now, I just want to say thanks to Commodore Forever, Caster, Clutch, all you guys that make this possible for us. We really appreciate it. Okay, once that gets done, you want to close out of everything, power down the computer, and then reboot back up on your flash drive. Now I'm going to boot up on my flash. Alright, once you're here, just get everything hooked up. I'm using a connectivity kit. And I've got my RS-232 cable run to COM1 on the back of the computer. I've got my SATA cable hooked up and I'm powered on. So at this point, we're wanting to dump. Now I have done I the R707 point in this DVD drive. You can use a probe or a spear. I've actually not had good luck with the probes, so I just solder the point in here. But we're wanting to dump it, so first you put in D light and your serial. Most of you will probably want to use your serial number to help you keep with it. I've already got a good dump of this drive so I'm just going to use one two three four five six seven space one two three four five hit enter it tells you make sure it's connected to COM1 and press any key there are some computers that don't have that COM port on the back and I'm looking Right now I've got one coming that's a PCI slot COM port which they should work just fine. Anyway once you've got it all hooked up and on you hit any key to continue. At this point you have to eject the drive so it will read and you just do what it says it's all hooked up you eject the drive tray. Once the tray is ejected you turn the power off close the drive tray halfway I usually go about two-thirds power the drive back on and then once that's done it tells you press yes when you're ready to go so now I hit Y and enter and it pulls out the key it makes the dummy bin the identify all of that firm tool starts up and build your hack firmware. If you do try that with a floppy, it should work fine with a floppy as long as your drive and disk are in good shape. But firm tool takes much longer to get started if you're using a floppy. It can take two or three minutes for it to actually get started and build your hack firmware. At this point, you would want to power down and save this information. You don't want to lose this information, your key and stuff. It's in the backup folder on the flash drive. You would want to power down, reboot into Windows, make a copy of that whole file, and keep it in several places. Burn it to a CD, email it to yourself. You want to keep that. This is necessary for your drive. If you ever have to replace it or anything like that, you've got to have this information. Once you've done that, you want to boot back onto the flash drive, and instead of dump, you'll just go straight to the flashing, which I've already got the information backed up from this, 
So I'm just going to go straight to the flash, which is F light. Space, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Space, one, two, three, four, five, which of course would be your serial number. And hit enter. It says ensure your light on is on and COM1 COM one don't have to be connected. I never undo anything. I just leave it all just like it is. If asked to do Magic 28 or MTK Vendor, say no once you read any keys. So hit the space bar, it starts erasing the drive. Now at this point it says now turn the light on off then back on. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to power it down. Power it back on. It says again follow the on screen instructions. If asked for Magic 28 or MTK say no. When asked what you want select W for write and you need to give the name of lightcfw.bin. There is no longer a dash in there. lightcfw.bin. Press any key to continue. We hit the space bar. It's hanging at port 2 because I was lazy and didn't undo my drive. So you want to tell it no anyway. Port 6 I know is my port, the DD60. You can see that in iPrep. It's asking for your port number right there, which minus 6. Hit enter. It's asking what we want to do right now. We've done dumped it, so we want to write. So it's W. W enter. Here it's asking for the name of the file you're wanting to flash, which we know is light cfw.bin for custom firmware, CFW, hit enter. It'll double check the erasing of the drive, then it writes the four banks. Once that gets done, it's finished. It's been successfully flashed once you're at the C prompt. That's it. It's flashed.